Hi there Souls Collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at today's reveal for the Vintage Collection. This was revealed as part of the Gift the Galaxy campaign that Hasbro are running through November and December for the lead up to Christmas and today's reveal is the IG-12 Grogu and Anzellan Deluxe Pack. We have all of the high res images. I'm gonna be offering you my thoughts. And of course we have the all important pre-order information. So if you happen to enjoy the video, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new. And let's get into this. All right then, so to begin with, Emily, the designer at Hasbro did mention in their promo video that this is a partially tall figure. It's using the IG-11 as a base. Albeit this one has an all new torso. Now obviously it needs an all new torso because essentially this droid is now almost like a mech suit that either the Anzellan or Grogu drives around. You get both miniature figures within the set which I'll talk about a little bit later on. But essentially you get that new torso which opens up so you can put those tiny figures inside. The rest of the figure is a reuse from the IG-11 so the head, the arms and the legs are all reused and that seems quite natural for me at the end of the day in the show he doesn't really change too much apart from the fact that he does have that new torso in terms of the overall quality of what we're getting i think they've done a pretty good job it looks fairly screen accurate to me i would say and this is a running theme at the moment that it kind of is lacking a few paint applications in some areas where i feel it could be weathered ever so slightly particularly in those tan areas on his legs and his arms once again they do look pretty clean again we will have to wait until we get it in hand to see exactly what it's like i feel if i was going to be ultra critical about it it is the head essentially they've just reused the head off ig11 but if you look at what ig12 looks like on both the card back and the show part of it is painted in that tan color similar to what's on his arms and his legs and the figure does not have that at all it's all one sort of gray piece so to make him super screen accurate, I would have preferred it if they had done that, at least just paint that bottom area of the head, but they haven't done it. And this is what we're getting. You also get the blaster included. But as I say, overall, I'm really pleased that they've actually made this figure in the line. I always did wonder how they would accomplish it, you know, hollowing out a complete torso. And that little piece at the front does actually come off and Emily did sort of describe the best way to put the miniature figures inside so you need to take that door completely off put the figure in lift up his arms put the door back on and then lower the arms back down and they should sit upon those two little joysticks that you get which of course he uses for driving around and somewhere in there he'll have a little button as well that he uses to do the whole yes 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 no 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 that it's famous for you know nice way for Grogu to be able to communicate verbally to the Mandalorian. Apparently the Grogu figure that we're getting there is an all new tool as well. Uh, so that makes it three that we have now. Of course, lots of them have different heads and different eyes and things like that. But I feel that this is the third different body of Grogu that we have. And I'm just wondering why they needed to do that. Maybe they've made this one slightly thinner so he can fit in there a little bit better. We also get one little Anzellan creature as well which of course are responsible for building IG-12 in the first place and I think it's great that we're actually getting one within this deluxe pack and into the line in general. Tiny little figure, really good sculpt on the face there, nice paint applications so you know I'm really looking forward to getting one of those in the line. In terms of the card back I feel that they've picked a really good image there of him walking around that sort of marketplace in Navarro. I've got to say that I do feel that the name pill looks a little bit odd because of all the sort of different characters you've got going on in there. You've got IG-12, you've got a comma, you've got obviously the little TMs for trademark on all three of the names, IG-12, Grogu and the Anzellan. So it just makes it a little bit cluttered, especially with that comma in there. I don't know, it just looks a bit weird. But they've chosen a blue name pill with a blue panel behind the figure. Really makes him pop. But once again, this is one of those deluxe figures. So it's going to be on one of those oversized card backs, which I'm not really a massive fan of, really. But it is what it is. We're no longer getting those boxes anymore. We're getting them on card. And if you look at it really, all of that could have fit on a standard size card. It really, really could have. But I think at $24.99, they want to make it look like you're getting more value. So of course it is on a 
deluxe card to differentiate between a deluxe and a standard card so they can charge you more money for it but essentially that is what we're getting i think overall as a product it's pretty good and i'm going to enjoy having ig12 in my mandalorian setup and displays if you want to pre-order this figure it goes on pre-order on november the 20th at 1 p.m est which is 6 p.m gmt at most major retailers so i will have links on all of my social medias tomorrow at the time that it goes live so you can use those it'll be available at star action figures in the uk hasbro pulse it'll be available on amazon so be sure to come back for those links so i'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below about this release are you happy with it let me know your thoughts thank you so much for watching and thanks to my patreon supporters and channel members as always for your extra support i really do appreciate it thank you for watching everybody and we shall see you on the next one